Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Uh, I am Shushankar Dhyal and in this part I will explain you complex declarations of function pointers. For example, there is a header called signal.h in ISOC which is part of C99. It's signal.h and it has a function like this. This signature is from man page. Say, uh, if you say man three signal I will show you that particular signature ok so now for a beginner it is difficult to understand that how what does mean uh, I mean if I am a beginner I would like for example if you ask me when I started C programming then I have no idea what it does no I do not understand so the trick is to start from simple ones and then proceed to complicated ones. For example, let's first understand this. So you first identify the function pointer. So this is the FP, which is your pointer. And what you do is you go to its right till you hit a parenthesis. And then you write that. And then you go to left till you hit the parenthesis and then you write that. And then you open the parenthesis and go to right and write that. And then to left and write that. And uh, uh, then you uh, simplify this. So the simplified version is fp star and then parenthesis and int. This means fp is a function pointer which returns an integer. Now similarly this means a is a pointer to array of 13 integers. Now for example this. So f is an array of 10 uh, f is an array of 10 of pointer to function because you got star and then which takes two integers and this returns void that is these functions which are elements of the array and which take two integers they are returning void oh okay yeah f is an array yeah those functions are returning the void void those functions have return type void see how easily I get confused so f is an array of 10 pointer to functions and those functions take two integers and they return void f is an array remember f is not function pointer here f is an array so f is an array of 10 pointer to functions which take two integers as argument and return void Similarly, for example, take this here. So f is a function returning pointer to array of pointers to function returning care. So x immediately x is immediately followed by parenthesis. So x is a function and it returns a pointer. And then to the right of this enclosing parenthesis is an array to array of pointer then you have got parenthesis here to function returning cat so that's how you read it now so what you can do is there is a very neat tool called C declaration but even the tool is not sufficient so for example we want to understand this one so we simply type this so it says declare x as array of three pointer to function returning pointer to array five of care. But as you can see, I have tried to test it with signal function. It simply can't handle it. If you try to do it with sing signal function, it will not be able to handle this. The tool does not hang handle it. I'm not very sure. Is it tool's fault or something else? For example, you might want to remove sig no it still does not work so so how to understand signal so signal is a function pointer no signal is a function which takes an integer and a function pointer and returns a pointer to a function which takes an in integer and whose return type is void so it's quite complicated in itself the signal function so this is how you understand uh, function pointers and the way is you try to write 
simple ones first and then go on complicating stuff and the best way is to read code see in programming how you learn new things is you read code so probably you can start reading code of GCC itself which is the compiler now that may be too complicated for example GDB code can be too complicated so you can possibly start reading simple stuff like LS we use a command called ls so you can download the code of ls and read the code of ls for example cp command which copies files or rm command which deletes files so you can download these small utility files and then you can read those for example these are all implemented in shell itself man of ls so ls would be part of shell i guess yeah core utils so you can download core utils source code and you can read the source code and then you will find such complicated declarations being used by uh, the programmers who actually write the operating system itself and the uh, utilities associated with the operating system and then you will understand how to understand the complicated piece of code so thanks for watching the video uh, I'll see you in my next part when uh, we will have more examples on function pointers. Thanks. Happy programming.